Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Matt. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Grailed, and yeah, I think that is about it. Um, I'm trying to do Depop, but I've only posted like 10 items, so we'll see what happens. But if you are new here, um, I do thrift hauls, I do thrift tips, I do everything about reselling, if you like content about that. Uh, today I am here with the literal best bins haul I've had in my life. I have Prada, I have Gucci, I have freaking Alice and Olivia, and like, Insane. I got 45 items. That's not $102.88, I think. And my cost of goods averages out to $4.30 something cents. I have to look. But that's what it is. And yeah, so I have all this amazing stuff behind me. If you are interested in anything, to purchase anything from this video, because it's amazing stuff, you can DM me on Instagram at Watch the Thrifty Store. And without further ado, let's roll this intro and get into it. I know my hair might look like Chris Jenner right now. I got it cut, so I'm trying to figure out how to style it. So forgive me if I look like Chris Jenner. But if I don't, then. Oh, that's better. It's kind of cute. It's cute. Okay, cool. Let's roll the intro and get into this. If you're curious how I do my process, I literally, every time I get home from the bins, I write every single item down. So I have it on paper. I have 48 items. Spent $102.88. My average cost of goods is $2.14 per item. Oh my god, I have Harley Davidson, Tory Burch, like 10 Tory Burch pieces, Armani Collezioni, Collezioni, lamb leather jacket, oh my god, amazing, Ralph Lauren, Double RL Ralph Lauren, Prada, Coach, Carhartt, Gucci, oh my god, amazing, I can't, Alice and Olivia, Free People, Rag and Bone, and this was all in one trip, I was only there for like an hour and a half, two hours. So without further ado, let's get into this. First item is for style. I thought it was so cute. This is like a vintage granny core tapestry canvasy bag. It's like a tapestry, it's textured, and it has three pockets, and it has no brand. There's interior pockets, all the zippers work. We love, so that's super cute. This next item I just grabbed because I said why not. It's 10% cashmere and the rest cotton. Um, I grabbed on the way out because I saw this sitting there in a bin. Juicy Couture, and it has the Juicy Couture spell out and stripes on the other side, and it's just a scarf. And it might be gross that I'm putting this on because it's from the bins and it's not washed, but you know what? Y'all know, live your life. So that's that. So as I said, I got like 10 Tory Burch pieces. This first one is gorgeous. It is a black Tory Burch cardigan, and you can see the Tory Burch logo right there. It is a size large. Look at these buttons right here, insane. Just so pretty. And the only thing about this sweater is that there's a tiny hole in the top right there. But I sold a Chloe, oh wow, damn it. There's another hole right here, but it doesn't go all the way through. But I sold a Chloe cardigan for 80 bucks once and there was a hole in it, so let's see. I still can sell this, just probably a cheaper amount. Is a bread and butter and it comes with a random person's pin that I'm gonna take off. These are full length pants, free people overalls with a cool back. And it's a size 26, and that's the Free People logo that it has. Size 26 women's. I'm gonna try and like kind of speed up a little bit just because I have 48 items. Insanity, people. Okay, so this one guy literally came up to me at the bins and was like, here, I'm not taking this, and gave me a pile of stuff. Came up to me again and again. And there was two amazing leather jackets in there I'm gonna show you next. Oh, I got a little, I got a notification. Probably from Uber Eats, because I'm a fan of. Um, because I just ordered Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, but there's embroidery all over this. It's the big pony, which does really well for Polo Ralph Lauren. I say Lauren to be fancy, it's probably Lauren, so don't come for me. And also comment your favorite thing in the comments below that you're gonna be seeing today. This is a classic fit, men's size large. This next item is so freaking cute. I have two in my hand, but the front one, these are Carhartt overalls. They're like a Barbie pink. They seem a little lighter on camera right now, but they're like a deeper hot pink. The buttons and like snaps are little hearts. How cute. And this is so cute. It has the Carhartt embroidery on the back. And they're full like functional overalls with the snaps and the straps come off like regular overalls do. This is a Tory Burch tank top polo shirt with an embroidery right here that has the logo on the chest. And it has a little ruffle detail right there. And I just sold a pair of shoes. This exact pair of shoes by Tory Sport. This is Tory Sport from Tory Burch. And it had the same ruffle on the sneakers for $135, I think they sold. I'm gonna insert them here if I remember. But if I don't, then bear with me. This is, says XL Women's. Also, I hit a bin that all of this stuff came from in one bin. The bin was empty. I'll insert a little video or picture here. Um, Cause I think I took one. But these random tags were on all of these really good items. And it looks like it was from like a consignment store and they closed out the consignment store and they donated everything. The date on this says 12, 18, 2022. 
must be an out of business vibe and I'm here for it because I got all the good stuff. These next two items are leather jackets that this guy handed me. This is new with tags leather. I think this is real leather, but it could be faux leather. I have to do some research. I didn't see, it said made in Italy. This is gorgeous. This is an Emporio Collection, size small, men's, and it has the tags and everything, extra buttons, all the good stuff. And this is just gorgeous. It might be faux leather, but this next one is gorgeous, real. It says lambskin leather, but this is stunning, like pebbled, really soft, buttery leather, brown jacket. The only thing, which I don't think it's a huge deal, is that there's a rip in the lining on the top of the collar, but the outer part of the jacket is in perfect, beautiful condition. And this is a size what? Size 46. So this item is a Tory Sport tennis skirt, and it looks like a bigger size. This is a size XL. That's so good. This next item, I'm just pulling some of the items that I'm obsessed with until I get to the end. Look at this like Cowichan, really thick sweater. It's 100% lamb's wool, and it's the brand Sundance. This is on a new a new bin rotation that came out, and look how gorgeous this is. I have a feeling I'll be able to get over $100 for these. Sundance sells really well. I've only sold it like once or twice, and immediately, every time it's sold, like in a day. This is an Alice and Olivia like, sweatsuit set. It's kind of like an off the shoulder, wide neck. Kind of feels like a neoprene stretch vibe. And I say vibe so much. And it's Alice and Olivia. I know they're two different sizes. This is an XS. An extra small for the top, but it's boxy and oversized. And the bottom sweatpants are small, so I don't think that's a huge deal. I think that was on purpose, because they were in the same bin, and they're matching. So that was on purpose. Small, and the top is an extra small, but it's oversized. And they're little joggers with a little sweater vibe. Cinch here, and an elastic waist. Oh my god, I, I usually hate these hangers because they get in the way, but the good thing is I can hook that. Oh my god, this is authentic Gucci. I already know it's authentic. I, I've sold a lot of Gucci, not a lot, but a good amount. And this lines up with everything. I'm still gonna probably get it authenticated on that website. I forgot what it's called. But this is Gucci. But yeah, that's the Gucci vibe. And it has the Gucci logo on the inner tag. It's a size large. It's made in Italy. This is a really thick, tannish yellow corduroy blazer by, what was it called? Pioneer Wear? I'm such a good person. Oh my god, I'm so good at memory. Pioneer Wear, Albuquerque, USA, 44 long. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. I found two coach pieces. This is a $600 sweater, it's insane. And I looked it up. It's alpaca, made in Italy, a wool alpaca blend. And it has the literally leather creed on this actual sweater, like it would have on a bag. And it's a size small, I'm assuming it's men's. The collar's really cool, it, goes, it frills out a little bit. And it's like a really cool textured sweater, look at that knit. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's no holes in it either. Holy shit. How in the world? I'm gonna jump into the next item that is not a piece of clothing, but it was hidden over there, so I had to go get it. How in the world does this white fur not get so dirty in the bin? Look at these coach flip-flop sandals with like a shearling fur. I don't know if it's real shearling. It has the C like the tabby bags have, and it still has this, a little bit of wear on the bottom. The stickers for the size, a 10B, so B is women's. I do know that, so it's a size 10 women's. And oh my god, these are beautiful. Look at that. Next item is 100% mohair. It doesn't have a brand, but it's really cool. It's a beret vibe. I keep saying vibe. Is it stretchy? No. But it's a beret, and the label looks like this. 100% mohair made in Scotland. Scotland and mohair is what made me look at it. Glen Cree LTD is the brand. I guess there is a brand. I'm gonna look it up. Tell me if you guys know what that is, that vintage brand. Ooh, this one was cute. It's a great size. It's like a crop top Santana knit. St. John tank top. I would say it's not cropped, but it's more like a midriff vibe because it's shorter and it's ribbed on the bottom. And if you don't know, Santana knit is the knit, the famous knit that St. John, the brand, uses. And if you put Santana knit as the keyword, it will sell way better. I sold a Santana knit maxi skirt for like 80 bucks last month, I think that was St. John, or 50 to 80, I don't know what it was. But it was free, I got it for free from my, a family member. Um, this is St. John Basics, size large. This next item is a pajama top, and a lot of people pick up so much pajama stuff, and I never really have, but this is cool. It was in that same, this was all in the same bin where those consignment tags were on that I cut them off. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren, or Loren. What made me look at it was this embroidery right here. It's a really cool floral. I'm gonna wash a lot of it. A lot of this stuff has a few marks on it. Hopefully it comes off. Oh my god, another Tory Burch sport piece. This has markings all over it only because it was on the floor, it fell on the floor and the bin rolled over it, so the dirt from the wheels of the bin. But this is all surface, if I rub it together, the, a trick. If you take the fabric and there's a mark here and you rub the fabric together and it starts coming off, that means it's a surface mark and it will come off in the wash. I hope that this whole haul, my back isn't to you guys. I'm trying to get this figured out. 
This is Polo Ralph Lauren. I sold something similar by Lily Pulitzer. It looks just like this. And it looks like preppy, like golf club vibe. It's probably like a golfing thing or a summery vibe. It's a size large women's. It says polo on the buttons. Next, I have another Carhartt piece. There was a ton of stuff in that bin that people were next to me. Somebody got a Burberry Brit trench coat, some Carhartt stuff, and I couldn't physically get everything at once. I was checking each thing and putting it in. In the future, if there's a good bin like that, I'm gonna take huge chunks of stuff and put it in my cart and then go through it. Comment below if you do that or if you do like what I did today and you go like one item at a time. But now that I think about it, if it's really good shit, then I should be getting chunks of stuff and just throwing it in if it feels good quality and then checking the label. That's what I regret not doing. This is Carhartt Scrub Top. It's like a coral color with blue accents. It's a little key ring vibe there. This is a size medium, I'm assuming it's women's. This next item I think is authentic, but I'm gonna get it authenticated. It is a like, low key it looks Y2K. It's Prada. Guys, and it has like the you know how Prada a lot of the stuff is like rubbery. This like the rubber tag right there. Prada, Prada rhinestone. There's a few rhinestones missing, and then it has like the rubbery silicone Prada logo here sewn in, and it says Prada made in Italy. Oh my god, this is so cute. So I hope this is authentic. I have a feeling it is. I know the Gucci one is, but I'm just not sure about this one. I'm leaning towards yes, it is. The fact that this was all together and Alice and Olivia and all this like designer stuff. Makes me think that they're all authentic. So next is new with tags. That is a streetwear vibe, like midi dress, t-shirt dress. It's color blocked. It has an embroidery that says Adidas or Adidas or however you say it. This is an XL women's and there is a Goodwill tag on here I didn't take off. They were gonna charge $12.99. Wait, I thought this was new with tags. Weird. Oh, it is, it's inside. Oh my God, okay, so there's the original Adidas tag, not the Goodwill tag, and this retailed for $40 only. You would think more. I'm getting to the end. Oh my God, guys, I'm like killing this speed game. Hopefully it's not too fast. If you have any tips for me to be different in my future videos to do it differently, let me know. This is an Aritzia brand. This is, all the girlies love this brand. This is a cropped sweatshirt, like Henley vibe. It's Henley when it's like, partly buttoned, right? It's from Sunday Best. And that's an Aritzia brand, I looked it up. It's really soft and fluffy and plush, you could feel it. Like it's very, it has the bounce to it, the plush. And it's an extra, extra small, but I think it could fit a small because it looks oversized. This next one I kinda wanna keep. I've never seen this brand of Ralph Lauren, but it's L-RL, Lauren Active Ralph Lauren. It's a 2X, which I thought it was men's, but there's no way this is a men's 2X. So I'm thinking it must be women's or kids. I'll have to look it up. And I just love the basicness, the basicness? The minimalism. <laughs> the minimalist vibe of just like the embroidered crest right here and it's just a plain white cotton t-shirt. This is a rag and bone tank top. It's like crackled, crackledy material. It's like cotton with like a printed 3D vibe. I keep saying vibe. It's a size small, rag and bone New York. Also, I thought this was new with tags for the life of me and then when I got home I couldn't find the tags. I'm guessing they fell off or I was dumb and was wrong. This is a really thick, and the inside is quilted. This is Oakley, it is a really cool jacket. It's a really heavy jacket, and it has embroidery, and it says Oakley right there. It just has extra large men's. I feel like this is great for outdoorsiness, like skating, skater, snowboarding, so I think that'll be great. And this I'm keeping. It's like a worn in shirt, it looks vintage, but I think it's just vintage inspired. This is Hardy, Harley Davidson, hi, Hardy. <laughs> Harley Davidson, and the back is the shop, and it's Canada, Lively, Ontario. But this is so cute, it's a large, and I hope it works out for me fit-wise. Another Harley Davidson. It's almost like kind of like a tie-dye, but it, it's not because it's like flames, but it kind of looks like the tie-dye material. Oh, I guess it is kind of like acid wash, tie-dye. Harley Davidson, Kingwood, Texas. A really long sleeve, I don't know, really long sleeve? How long sleeve can it be? This is an extra large men's, super cute. This next item I got to sell, not for me, because I feel like this isn't my style, because I would look crazy with like a turtleneck. But this is like buttons all down here, and they have like nautical anchors on the buttons. And this is Polo Ralph Lauren, size extra large men's. And it has this cool logo, 109, what does that say, D day or dip? I don't know what it says. USRL374. Oh, it's new. It has the extra large sticker strip right here. So I can say new with sticker. Cool. And it's like a plush fleece inside, really soft. So these are the last items, guys. I'm an idiot. I have like 10 other items that are in a separate area of the rack. I'm so crazy. So this is kind of a long haul. This is the longest haul I've really done, I feel like. So this is new with tags. This is Obey, which I used to wear in middle school and high school. Sold at Tilly's. And this is an expensive brand, it's sold at Urban Outfitters too. 
a Ty Small newest sticker and tag. Really cute. This next item is a collaboration. The tag is hanging off, but I can still sell stuff with that. I just note it in the description and somebody could sew it. That is Zendaya and Tommy Hilfiger collaboration. And it says Leo in it. I forgot what it was for. It was for like something, like an event or festival or like a brand or something. And this is like a cream colored t-shirt and it's really cute. What made me look at it was this was flipped in the bin and I saw all these colors and I was like, ooh, what is that? So I flipped it over and I saw the word Zendaya and she's popping off right now. So I thought this was something and I was correct. This is a really stretchy material. This reminds me of that other Lily Pulitzer top that I've sold. Just like this one that I thought was linen. It was the polo one. Tell me if you guys know what RLX is by Ralph Lauren. I've, again, I've never seen that brand or that like line of that brand. Okay. So I found like 40 torrid tops, the way I said that, um, for whatnot. And I'm gonna start them all at like $3. So let's go. So this is a pair of framed denim jeans. Great condition, super stretchy. And these are the forever, what is it called? The mo Usually it's like Le Home Skinny or La High Skinny, but this one, it says Forever Carly. That's the model. They're mixed comps. This is a brand that sold for like 298 on Revolve, but the resale value is like 20 to $30. So these are a pair, these have a few marks, but again, they look surface from being on the floor at the bins, Rahem. They're, they're a smaller size, but I think they'll still do well. 20, size 24, it's We The Free from Free People. And they're like a cream white colored pair of jeans, high-waisted, I think super high-waisted. Then the next pair of stuff, of shorts, are a bigger size too, which is great. It has the carpenter loop right there. And these are Carhartt men's cargo shorts. And they are a size, they're a relaxed fit, size 42. And they're a really thick cotton, and they're a gray color. This next item, before we get to the last items that are all torrid, are, I usually would never pick up Zara, even at the men's, I just, don't really, unless I get it for free. This is new with tags, and faux leather pants are so in. So these are faux leather cream ivory colored pants. New with tags, that's 46, which is US 14. Is that a plus size, or is that not considered a plus size? Comment below. It was on sale for 45.90, so it was more before that. But there's no marks or flaws, and they're in beautiful condition. Why am I showing it like this? <laughs> Um, yeah, and they're a women's size 14 US made in Morocco and I loved it that they were like an ivory cream color So this is a gray like Henley like really thin cotton flowy tank top by Torrid It was a plain one a size zero, which I think is a plus size. They're all plus size Torrid's a plus size brand if you don't know Also if I'm talking fast, sorry, you can slow down the video if you want on the bottom of the video on YouTube Watch me a little slower or faster if you watch me faster, you're insane, because I talk fast. But this is a really good quality. Almost feels like Johnny Woods. That's how good of a quality it is, and it's torrid. What the hell? This is a size one. I don't know how the size converts. I think that's like a small plus size small, and then two is like a plus size medium, or, or a 1X, 2X, 3X. That's what it is. This is a really soft and stretchy knit cardigan by Torrid, and this is a size two. This is a snake skin with a tie and an elastic waist. It's like a tunic top. It's kind of sheer. I think this is the old Torrid label. Tell me what you think, if that's true. <laughs> uh, this next one is like a 70s vibe print and it's like buttons and it has the roll tab sleeves. And this is a size double zero, plus size double zero. And this is a size two. This reminds me of Versace, this print. It's like a really like, has some sheen to it in person. So it reminds me of like that shiny Versace gold. Uh, medley floral. Ah, this is roll tab sleeves as well, and this is a size two in torrid. Obviously torrid. This is all torrid. This has like stretchy off the shoulder with shoulder straps, but it's a like, cold shoulder. It's a size one, and this is like glitter metallic threading in the plaid print. Okay, this next one is a snakeskin top with buttons. And is this roll tap sleeves? Yes, this is. Size 1X, I think it's one, so it's 1X, right? But this is a size two, and it's like a striped black blouse from Torrid. And this last piece of the entire haul, the 48th piece. I think I said 48, right? Oh my God, I'm so popular, I'm getting tags. This is so cute, it's like a pastel color. It reminds me of Lily Pulitzer. It's like a turquoise. I don't know what just happened when my camera cut off and I'm praying that it recorded the entire thing. If not, I'm gonna have to go back and redo the entire haul. And that took a long time. Uh, but yes, hopefully it did. And at this moment in the video, you'll know if it did. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, regardless, I forgot what I said as my outro, but hopefully I said everything. Follow me on Instagram at watch the 50 store. I'm clearly sweating, dying of heat stroke, looking like Kris Jenner. So that's awesome. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. And I, what's my next video gonna be? A what's old video? I can do that. Bye guys! See you. Ah, I'm crazy right now. Diet Coke and Chick-fil-A really fucked me up. Bye.